The Sunnyside Up presentation that follows will show you in brief detail how we work as financial planners with money concepts. Today I'd like to focus on the first two of the three vital concepts of retirement planning. Your time horizons and the sequence of returns. First of all, what are your time horizons? They're not what you may think. It may be time to rethink your time horizons. In retirement, you're not going to manage your five-year money in the same way that you'll manage your 25-year money. You may have different risk tolerance levels for each period of retirement. That concept is critical in creating a retirement plan. The next important concept to understand is the sequence of returns in the accumulation phase compared to the distribution phase. This is when a 6% return can be better than an 8% return. In the accumulation phase, rather than thinking about the sequence of returns, you should be more concerned with your average annualized returns, your asset allocation, and staying in the market. While in the distribution phase, the sequence of your returns must be taken into account by reducing risk through product allocation and portfolio protection. The sequence of returns is a measure of the earnings on your investments over time. During the accumulation phase, the stock market fluctuates up and down cyclically over time. However, over the past 100 years, the trend has been an approximate 11% increase on average each year, even taking into account the Great Depression and Great Recession. The trend over all that time has been to increase as our economy continues to grow. As you can see, the same $100,000 invested over 15 years ends up with the same total return even though the market fluctuations have been exactly reversed. What makes this possible? The math shows that the answer is the same either way that the numbers are ordered. Since that is the case, during your accumulation phase, over the long term, if you invest methodically in the stock market, your investment should grow. On the other hand, in the distribution phase of your retirement, when you are taking money out, you don't have the luxury of time to weather the volatility of the stock market. As a result, the sequence of returns on your investments must be managed very differently, very conservatively. You will want to reallocate your investments to last for the rest of your life, and if all goes well, you could live for a very long time. We have strategies to plan for this. Here we have two investors, Andy and Beth. Each invest $100,000 in the stock market. First, we see how, during the accumulation phase, even though the market behaves one way for Andy and exactly the opposite way for Beth over a 25-year period, they both average an 8% return and end up with the same total of $735,302. However, then we see, during the distribution phase, if they both leave their investments in the stock market and they start withdrawing 8% each year and the markets behave the same way they did for each of them during the accumulation phase, over the next 25 years, Andy ends up broke when he's 83, while Beth is still going strong when she's 90. The moral of this story is, in the accumulation phase, Sequence of returns does not matter, while in the distribution phase, sequence of returns can have a dramatic impact on the end result. That is why, during the distribution phase, you should be willing to accept a 6% reasonably steady return over an 8% volatile return. Thank you. Now please tune in to the next episode of Sunnyside Up, How to Crack Your Retirement Nest Egg. All securities are offered through Money Concepts Capital Corporation, member of FINRA and SIPC.